Hey, this is Tickle, and in this video we're talking about the Farseer Shaman tree. I'm giving some feedback to Blizzard who asked for feedback, so we're here to do that, and I want to encourage all of you to post on the forums, comment down below, post on Twitter about what you think, because it's the one time that we know Blizzard's going to be revamping things because it is the alpha. I have been blessed to have access to the alpha, so we're going to be testing things every day, pretty much 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the uh, stream. Make sure to check down below for those links. But let's go ahead and talk about the top few things I think element shaman needs with Farseer to make it actually possible. I think Resto is actually working pretty decently. Uh, it's pretty interesting, but for Ellie, it is not. It's not working, and I think there are several things that uh, need to be looked at and potentially revised. I know that, that I've been talking to a lot of people in stream, and otherwise, a lot of people are not happy, uh, especially when they're comparing it to other classes. So that's something else we're going to do in the video, is I'm going to show you, wait, this seems okay. Why are people saying it's not? I will show you why. Because of what warlocks get, mages get, as well as DKs. They don't have that video ready. But uh, I'll show you what those are. And it, it'll kind of show you that, wait, our ancestors don't have to be so dumb. They can do more abilities. They can be more integral or, or they can attack on their own. I'll show you a clip of where I died while my ancestors were standing around me in a duel, not doing anything because you have to act, you have to use a button, you have to damage or heal for your ancestor to do something, which is not great. Now that may be on the PvP side, but we'll get into it. So number one, the very first thing that we need to talk about is the fact that, like I just started going into, the ancestors are pretty dumb. Uh, they are not very intelligent. They spawn and they only do damage when I do damage. And they only do lava burst or chain lightning. That is like, it seems okay, but then again, you're, I'm gonna show you what the other classes do and you're gonna say, wait, what? You, ha you have the technology, Blizzard? Why don't you use it? So on, 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 on this suggestion, my suggestion to Blizzard is to, number one, make them uh, attack on their own. Don't make it dependent on the Shaman doing damage. If I, ha if I get an Ancestor spawn and I have to move, uh, or I get stunned, or I get knocked back, or any, I, I'm, and I'm saying like PvE or PvP, I'm going to waste a lot of that Ancestor proc or potentially miss it entirely, which is not... Very, it was just not satisfying at all, and it negates the entire hero tree for the most part. Uh, so that's number one. Uh, along with that, I'm going to show you now what the Fire Mage can do. It's actually Arcane and Fire, but I think it's really around Fire, where Fire Mage gets a Phoenix. They can summon a Phoenix. Uh, they That is off of their cooldown. It's cooldown based, not just overall ability based, off of Combustion, which is a cooldown that like has basically a very short cooldown. Um Basically, primordial waves, uh, 45 seconds, if not shorter. Um, and the, on press, it spawns, and it starts just gunning. It starts being a machine gun. It uses various abilities. It uses greater pyro. It uses meteor. It uses uh, uh, pyro. I mean, it uses a bunch of different abilities. I'm not even sure of all the ones that it is using, but it pumps. And all of that pumping damage, it seems to be at 100% like damage. Like It seems to be not just at... Like, I think Ancestors, a lot of their damage is about 40% of what my Lava Burst would be. So, as you're watching that, being like, wow, that's amazing. It's really, really cool. And that means if I get stunned, or if I'm CCing, or if I'm CC'd, or I'm moving around, that damage is still getting out there. Now I'm going to show you what uh, Diabolist Warlock, I think I pronounced it right, let me know if I didn't, uh, what the Diabolist Warlock does. The Diabolist Warlock, this is another point that shows Blizzard can do it. Diabolist Warlock, they can summon four different demons. And that's like on a certain rotation. And each demon uses different sets of abilities. They also look amazing. They also pump damage really hard. Also, those based on the ancestor or based on like that rotation, you're, it actually augments your existing abilities, making your shadow bolt or your sorry chaos bolt become a different ability, right? So that integrates with your DPS rotation. That is so cool. That is what a hero talent should be. That's a, it's one of the coolest hero talents I've I have seen yet. Rep Paladin's amazing, but anyway, um, but anyway, so the warlock, um, unlike mage, right? You do have the creatures, uh, you have the demon spawn, they start doing damage like you're seeing on the screen, they have different attacks each, and their hero tree augments their existing abilities. Super cool. They also get defensives and other things in their hero trees. I think those two trees are pretty, like those are the ideal, set. put them on a pedestal because they should be there. They're really freaking cool. So that's, now if we take that and we compare to what we get, 
In terms of ancestors, I will admit Resto Shaman with Hydro Bubble, that is cool. That is altering things. Um, but Ellie does not get any of that. And I and I do think that Ellie is not intended to go Farseer. I actually think the feeling I'm getting in a Blizzard, tell me if I'm wrong, I'm willing to come to HQ to talk about it. I don't think Blizzard wants Ellie to go Farseer. Unless, like, in theory, it could parse the best, so people will have to go it for rating and other things. But it does, just doesn't seem fun. It doesn't seem cool. And for the record, anything can parse the best, and it can be not fun to play. Um, so with this, this brings out a few different ideas for Ellie Shaman. Well, okay. Now, let's just say, for example, when I summon an ancestor, they're either a male or a female ancestor, and they're the race. Well, why don't I – well, here's an idea. Why don't you actually be able to summon melee ancestors, ranged ancestors, like a variety of different ones, like different demons? You could get different ancestors. Think of all of the, like, you know, the iconic – models of you know different classes of enhanced shaman ellie shaman over the years that we've had in the game you could reuse those put those into ghosty form and then they could spawn they could spawn and then they can go into combat now right now it's all based on doing similar type abilities that i am but it's just just a few ideas. So number one, you could vary the amount of the, the ancestor types that are spawning. You could also make it so you should make it Blizzard so that they attack on their own. That is like it must be it must be there. They must attack on their own. It, it just if it doesn't, it just seems like it's only it's just it's just kind of boring. It's just boring. Um, so I think that those are two things. Uh, variations of ancestors attack on their own as well as maybe be able to do different abilities right now they can only lava burst and chain lightning um well uh, I, I don't know it just does not seem amazing i would much rather them be doing something like chain lightning every time for like a visual effect or something different also the ancestors do not generate maelstrom maybe they should maybe that is another way to feed into the pump and dump, right, uh, into your play style. Right now, Ancestors feel like they're a parallel track beside my character. They need, it needs to over overlap a little bit. L um, yeah, like Fire Mage and like the Warlock. The Warlock one's kind of the coolest to me because it does augment your, like, the abilities that you're able to press. I would love that for Shaman. Uh, I think there might be things, maybe for St Stormbringer and maybe for Totemic, they will be there, but Farseer, like, you have an opportunity here, and I would really like to see it. Uh, let's see what else I have written, <laughs> written down. Yeah, do more abilities. Uh, oh, yeah, the other thing is um, with the Ancestors, in their current state, what are some alternatives to what I just pr proposed that I think that Blizzard could do? Number one, that the fact that they proc off of just Primordial Wave or a proc off Lava Burst is kind of making Shaman become a very like single like lane class. Like Ellie Shaman, like the only thing we're pressing is Lava Burst now. And while everyone loves the meatball, it just gets a bit boring. Um, and, and the fact that we like Stormkeeper is just dog doo doo. Um, lightning bolt, chain line, it's just not there. So why not make it, I don't know, some way to augment other abilities or to buff other abilities or have them do other abilities. Uh, it's just, it's just not, uh, or proc off of other abilities. Like for example, I think chain, it should be procking off of chain lightning because as a shot, as a DPS or you're in two situations, single target, AOE, even in PVP, right? So if you're, if you're single targeting, and that's the only way that you proc ancestors. What happens when you get into Mythic Plus and you have to AOE? Okay, sure, technically you can Primordial Wave spread with Lava Burst, but why not have it proc off Chain Lightning? That way, too, there's some variation in proc rate. You could actually get a bunch of ancestors out, right? And if that's off of Chain Lightning, then you have a chance because, again, it, you know, Chain Lightning is probably one of the coolest abilities in the game. And then if you're using that ability, it would, they, they would then repeat it, etc. Um, so I think that is one suggestion I would have is make it a proc off of Chain Lightning or at least other abilities. I would say maybe off of Spending Maelstrom, but that's actually kind of similar to the Warlock. And I'm not sure how that would really pan out because um, our spenders are not really doing that much damage compared to our builders, which is, I think, in LA's class designs, that's kind of like what's hitting there. I still, still think it's super fun, but uh, Ellie as, as a whole, but uh, but yeah, for Farseer, like we need we need some change up here. Uh, and then specifically for some of the other hero talents, like I'm talking about the ancestor concept at all, like at, at carte blanche here, but there are some other things I would recommend with the hero tree. And I think that there are a lot of hero trees that are pretty cool. We've probably reviewed half of them, right, at this point. And I think there's definitely ones that kind of 
they change how you play a little bit more or they, they augment certain things. And I think that the talents that are plus 5% damage or 8% damage, like the Maelstrom Supremacy or get a little bit more Maelstrom, those are, no, I'm sorry to say it, but those are cop-outs. Those are cop-outs, um, especially damage because you can just add that damage tuning into the class. It's a cop-out and I'm just gonna call it, I'm just gonna call it what it is. Um, so I, I really think Farseer maybe lost some steam after the Ancestor idea, but um, but yeah, so that's kind of where I'm at with first impressions and feedback for Blizzard at this point. I think testing has been showing that, dude, there's some really cool hero talents out there, and guess what? Ancestor, uh, Farseer is not really one of them right now. So Blizzard, please, proc rates, make it proc more off of more stuff. Make them variations of ancestors that do different things. Make them attack without me having to attack so I don't die in a stun while my ancestors or my granddad is watching me. Um, and, and just maybe, you know, may, may, maybe make it augment my abilities differently, right? Maybe uh, make it so that chain lightning uh, procs or like certain uh, overloads are going to happen or are going to happen again, or I don't know, something that makes me feel powered up. Right now, it doesn't power up Ellie at all. It's just a parallel track. So with that being said, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Listen, we're going to keep on pumping content of feedback to Blizzard. We need to let them know how we feel. So make sure to get your voice heard because this is the time. Alpha is the time. Beta maybe is like too late. We need to do it now. And certain classes, because of community I freaking out they have been reworked multiple times so let's go ahead and make it happen for farseer shaman for ellie resto it's okay again certain pieces are cool but it could also use some work so with that being said we'll see you in the next one or on stream as we continue to test things out figure out our alts and have a good time if you have any questions on testing make sure to come by the stream and we'll see you in the next one bye now